Here we go. Good evening. And I'd like to call to order our Tuesday, December 4th, 2018, Piqua City Commission meeting. Um, let us stand and say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Can we have our roll call, please? Mayor Hines. Here. Commissioner Vogt. Here. Commissioner Martin. Here. Commissioner Short. Here. Commissioner Lee. Here. Okay, the first thing on our agenda tonight is announcements. Are there any announcements this evening? <clears throat> if not, we will move to our consent agenda. There's one item on the agenda tonight, uh, approval of the minutes from the November 20th, 2018 regular city commission meeting i move we approve the consent agenda second it has been moved and seconded all those in favor say aye aye, aye. opposed okay the consent agenda passes and now we move to old business the first is <coughs> ordinance number 16-18 this is a second reading an ordinance repealing Schedule A of Chapter 33 of the Pickwick Code and adopting a new Schedule A of Chapter 33 of the Pickwick Code relating to wages of certain municipal employees. Ms. Bogan. Good evening, Commissioners. Uh, Schedule A covers the salaries of full-time, non-union employees. There are six steps in each classification, and each step has been increased by 2%. Okay, thank you. Any questions or comments from the commission? Any questions or comments from the public? Then this will stand as our second reading of ordinance number 16-18. And now we move to ordinance number 17-18. This is also a second reading. An ordinance repealing Schedule A-1 of Chapter 33 of the PICWA Code and adopting a new Schedule A-1 of Chapter 33 of the PICWA Code relating to wages of certain municipal employees. Ms. Bogan. Schedule A-1 covers part-time, seasonal, and temporary employees. The wages for certain classifications will be adjusted in accordance with state minimum wage requirements. Specific titles of harvest operator and seasonal greens superintendent have been added to reflect specific seasonal duties. Great. Thank you. Any questions or comments from the commission on this ordinance? Any questions or comments from the public on this ordinance? If not, this will stand as our second reading of ordinance number 17-18. And now we move to ordinance number 18-18. An ordinance repealing existing Chapter 33.08 and enacting a new Chapter 33.08 of the PICWA Code relating to employee insurance. Ms. Bogan. Uh, this ordinance updates Chapter 3308 of the PICWA Code to set the new benefit year for employee health insurance to 2019. Thank you. Any questions or comments from the Commission on this ordinance? Any questions or comments from the public on this ordinance? If not, this will stand as our second reading of ordinance number 18-18. And now we move to ordinance number 19-18. This is also a second reading. An ordinance to make appropriations for the city of Piqua, Ohio for the year 2019. Ms. Holtz Apple. Thank you. This is the proposed 2019 annual budget appropriation of approximately $134.5 million, including transfers, and is before the Commission for the second reading tonight. The Commission has reviewed the 2019 budget in detail with departments on November 13th of this year. Passage of this ordinance is required by December 31st, so this may stand as the second reading tonight. Great. Thank you. Any questions or comments from the commission on this ordinance? Any questions or comments from the public on this ordinance? Then this will stand as our second reading of ordinance number 19-18. And now we are to ordinance number 20-18. This is also a second reading. An ordinance amending section 154.025 
B, General Business District of the City of Pickwick Code of Ordinances. Mr. Smeezing. Thank you. The proposed amendment will add hospitals to the B General Business Zoning District as a principal permitted use. Uh, this item was presented to the Planning Commission uh, in a public hearing in November. There were no comments received for or against the item. Uh, it stems by way of a recommendation uh, from staff uh, <coughs> consistent with the comprehensive plan and uh, the uh, indications therein. Uh, this is uh, uh, the Planning Commission recommended approval of this item. Great, thank you. Right. Any questions or comments from the commission on this ordinance? Yeah, does this have to be approved before they break ground for the hospital out there? I don't think so. I don't think that's the case. No. Yeah. All right. Any other questions or comments? Any questions or comments from the public on this ordinance? If not, this will stand as our second reading of ordinance number 20-18. And now we move to our new business. The first one is resolution number R-150-18. A resolution requesting authorization to enter into an agreement with Stantac Consulting Services Incorporated for the completion of an elevation and phase one of the master plan of the Pickwell Water Supply Lake System. Mr. Feisteller. Yes, um, this evening we're here to um, ask commission's approval to re enter into agreement with the Stan Stantec Consulting Services Inc Incorporated. Um, we need to be developing a master plan for our hydraulic system. Um, in past years, uh, we've had inspections from Ohio Department of Natural Resources, and uh, we're looking at putting together a plan that will be able to develop a schedule of uh, improvements for the hydraulic system that uh, will be acceptable to Department of Natural Resources. Uh, with us this evening is Rob Kirkbride from Stantex Group. Um, he is, um, I've worked with him on the Ohio Dam Safety Committee um, and uh, their firm has helped with the uh, spillway improvements for Indian Lake um, and they are, are well a very uh, very good group to be working with. I'm very comfortable that they'll put together a good schedule that we'll be able to work with. Um, as commission seen in the report, uh, this will uh, develop over a number of issues that we need to look at and um, their group I feel is the best one for us to work with. I would just add to, uh, to Don's report that there are issues that we need to address with our hydraulic system and our dams to ensure that we don't end up in a consequence of having to a lot more costs in the future. Uh, and some of the requirements that the Na Department of Natural Re Resources is requiring. So I think this is the first step in looking at addressing those issues so that we don't have, so that we can reduce or eliminate future costs that they may uh, require upon us. Am I correct on that? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Any questions or comments from the commission on this resolution? Any questions or comments from our public on this resolution? Good evening. Jeff Lang, 9586 North State Route 66. Understanding that the city is wanting to get into this agreement with this corporation to study the pickle hydraulic system, I asked the commission, all the city departments, especially Don's group, to be very cautious about uh, the hydraulic water system as it's very important as it sits higher than most of the population of Piqua lives in and any breaching of the hydraulic would be catastrophic. Uh, also the spillways, uh, the two on Swift Run Lake are built around the 1875-1880 time frame. So they're extremely old and they do need to have updates for safety to keep that water held back. The Ziegler spillway between Ziegler Road and the old existing water plant is a little bit newer, I think built in the late 50s. Uh, so it's a little bit better condition, but also uh, understanding that there are a lot of private property owners that have their land lots adjoining the city's property of that waterway, the hydraulic canal, Franz Pond, Echo Lake, Swift Run. 
and in consideration to the consulting firm when you look into that uh, consider also the uh, land lines joining the water lines of those reservoirs are the existing property lines for those adjoining landowners so we're concerned that if you change any elevation of the reservoir or the hydraulic system you will be changing the lot owners land lines which I think could be uh, rather detailed and probably contested by those landowners adjoining those waters. So uh, I just recommend you move cautiously and look at everything you're getting into there because this is uh, a very important system that Pickle has and uh, certainly want to preserve its natural beauty and hold all that water back for raw water for Don's group to use it for drinking water. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you um, for always being an advocate for our waterways and uh, bringing those things forward for us. Thank you. Any other comments from the public on this resolution? If not, I will entertain a motion. I move we adopt resolution R-150-18. I'll second. It has been moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, the resolution passes. And now we move to resolution number R-151-18. A resolution authorizing purchase orders to Chemical Services Incorporated, Chemrite Incorporated, Air Products and Chemicals Incorporated, Sal Chemical, Univar USA, Greer Line Company, and the City of Dayton for the 2019 purchase of various water treatment chemical, chemicals. Excuse me. Mr. Freisteller. Yes. <clears throat> this is an annual um, request that we make to Commission to be able to purchase all the treatment chemicals. Um, our purchasing department has went out for bids uh, under the American Water Works uh, specifications for each chemical that we need. Um, the award has went to all the lowest bidders um, and uh, we were fortunate, our, we had a, a budgeted for about a 5% increase this year in chemical cost. Once the bids came in, it was just a little over 4% uh, difference from what we paid last year. So we feel we got very aggressive bids again this year. Uh, some of the abilities of the new plant's capability of bringing in truckloads of chemicals has assisted us in holding line on the chemical cost for our treatment. Thank you. Any questions or comments from the commission on this resolution? Yeah, are we going to be able to get the whole year of uh, quick line from Dayton or is it like normal it's, it's quite possible we won't get all all we need for the year we always have two lime suppliers uh, just for that reason uh, Dayton's recalcification kiln sometimes has mechanical difficulties as well as they sometimes just have a supply issue getting it to us um, this year we've been able to purchased almost um, two loads for every one load we had to uh, buy from our regular supplier. So um, about 75% of the lime this year was able to be purchased from the city of Dayton with that cost savings. All right, thank you. Any other questions or comments from the commission? Any questions or comments from the public on this resolution? If not, I will entertain a motion. So moved. Second. Has been moved and seconded. All those in favor of resolution number R-151-18, please say, say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, the resolution passes. And now we move to resolution number R-152-18. A resolution authorizing the city manager to enter into a collective bargaining agreement with the American Federation of State, County, and Municipal Workers Incorporated, AFS-CME, the Ohio Council 8, Local 984, Clerical. Ms. Wall. Thank you. This resolution before you is to approve a memorandum of understanding for a one-year extension or agreement of the clerical contract. Years ago, when we negotiated all of the contracts, we got them all on the same schedule. Um, all three-year agreements, all calendar year agreements. When we negotiated this last clerical agreement, there were procedural reasons why we did not do a three-year agreement. Therefore, it expires at the end of this calendar year. And if we approve this memorandum tonight, it gets it back on track with all of the other unions 
um, and they will all be negotiating at the same time. We've already had um, some discussions with the clerical union about those negotiations for the next contract where they want to negotiate it together with the blue collar union. Um, so they are in agreement uh, with this one year agreement. The only thing it does is extend it on the same terms. Um, the wage article gets changed just because of the date, uh, but it will also implement the 2% increase that it has been received by the ASME Blue Collar Unit, all the other <coughs> unions within the city and non-union, and then changes the duration article for the same reason, just to change the date. Okay, thank you. Any questions or comments from the commission on this resolution? Any questions or comments from the public on this resolution? If not, I will entertain a motion. I'll make a motion. I'll second it. Has been moved and seconded. All those in favor of resolution number R-152-18, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, the resolution passes. And now we move to the public comment portion of the meeting. Do we have any public comment this evening? If not, we will move to our city manager's report. Thank you. Just to remind everyone, the groundbreaking ceremony for the new Kettering Health Network Medical Facility is Monday, December the 10th at 1.30, and everyone is welcome to attend. So we hope we have a good attendance out there for that event. The, um, Miami Valley Small Business Development Center is now located at Edison State. Uh, the center will serve small businesses in Miami, Shelby, Dark, and Preble counties. I think this is a wonderful addition to um, our city to be able to have this center located here. Uh, we want to say thanks to Premier Health for their recent sponsorship of uh, PICWA in the DBJ's Community Spotlight feature, and if you haven't seen the articles that have been out over the past week. They're very, very positive, and we appreciate, uh, had a chance to tell Tom Parker uh, that we really appreciate Premier sponsoring that, um, that community spotlight. Last thing I'll mention is the Holiday Open House, uh, sponsored by the Piqua Chamber, Main Street, United Way, and GPN takes place Thursday night from 5 to 7 at Fort Piqua Plaza, and hope all the um, commissioners and staff can uh, attend that event also. And that concludes my report. Great, thank you. All right, um, um, our law director, uh, Stacy Wall, has something she wants to say as well. Thank you. I asked to just say a few words because tonight is my last commission meeting. I rarely write it out, but tonight I did. <laughs> I came to this job not knowing what to expect as the job had just been created, being one full-time position. What started as an unknown became a very meaningful job for many reasons. On the civil side, I've gone through countless charter changes and reviews, filed one of the city's first nuisance cases and closed Paul's bar, got lost in how many times the railroads have merged to file quiet title actions, negotiated lots of union contracts and completed many other projects. On the criminal side, a reputation was established to not be known just to plea bargain every case saw very serious charges and became engaged with the Domestic Violence Task Force and the Heroin Coalition to stay on top of our toughest issues. However, despite the personal satisfaction of performing the job, there has been much more. There is incredible relationship building and experience that came through all of these projects. There is also incredible support and friendships established throughout the city of Piqua. From the beginning, I became extremely involved in the community. Rotary, United <coughs> Way, the Dental Clinic, the YMCA Board, reading at the schools, and more. The community has shown such a great support and appreciation for me as the city law director. That has been nothing but heartfelt. I cannot say thank you enough for the opportunity I was given when Fred Enderley hired me 11 and a half years ago. PICWA will always remain a part of me. To the city, the community, the citizens, I truly do thank you and look forward to serving you in a greater capacity on the bench. Thank you, Stacy. I um, know that the commission um, <laughs> echoes my thanks in the work that you have done for us these past 11 years. Hard to believe, but thank you so much and you go with our blessings into your next role as well. So thank you. We will move to our commissioner's comments. Uh, commissioner, commissioner vote. 
<clears throat> well, the uh, Christmas parade is Saturday, 2 o'clock. I was just checking the weather. It's going to be uh, 30 degrees and clear. There won't be any snow. I can see a lot of people out there at the parade. And that's what came up was the weather on my phone. It wasn't nobody calling me. And I uh, want everybody to have a, a good uh, Christmas time. We'll have one more meeting before then, but there's a lot of prep for that. I see the lights are going up around town and people are out and around. So uh, have a good, uh, a good holiday season. That's all I have. Thank you. Thank you. Commissioner Martin. Um, Stacy, sorry to see you go. It's been, well, ever since I've been coming to commission, you've been law director. And then my whole terms as commissioner, you've been here. So thank you very much and good luck. That's it. Commissioner Lee. Uh, Stacy, I'm very, very happy that you're going to do something um, much more important, but I'm sad that you're leaving the city because you did a wonderful job. I personally know, having been a police officer and working with you directly, and now that I've been on the commission, I've seen all the good work that you've done. You, you are going to be greatly missed, and we appreciate everything you've done. Look forward to seeing you behind the scenes. I mean, I don't want judges don't need to be out there, but they, they have a role, and you're going to do a great job and we look forward to, to seeing what you do in the future. So uh, we're here and you're always welcome in Finley, you know that. So um, other than that, I have nothing else. Thank you. Thanks. Commissioner Short. Um, yep, Stacy, I hate to see you go. I got to work with you as a police officer and you were the finest prosecutor I ever had the opportunity to work with. Tag on it, you get me, me emotional. <laughs> um, I got to work with you as a bailiff um, thought you did an outstanding job. You always were there for the officers. You didn't plea everything away, and you always asked the officers their opinions, and that, that, is, that is a quality to be admired. And I have no doubt that you will be an outstanding judge. And, um, you know, if you ever need anything, I don't you know where I am. From ever. Thank you. And I will say, um, having worked with you outside of commission through Rotary and the Dental Clinic and United Way, I know you have put your heart into this community and we thank you for that. Um, you have served so many years, not only as law director, but as a cheerleader for our community here in Piqua. So thank you. And it's been an honor to work with you on all those projects. So um, just a few things I want to mention. Um, I would be, um, my son may not be happy with me, but he might not be happy if I don't say it. It's his 15th, his 15th birthday today, so I wish my son a happy birthday um, today. And um, as Bill mentioned, the parade is this weekend. Um, Christmas on the Green is Friday night. There's a lot of things happening in Pickway to get you in the holiday spirit. Also, the concert, um, Sounds of the Season, at 3 o'clock at St. James Episcopal, as well on Saturday. So there is no reason that you should get through this weekend and not be in the, the spirit of the season because of all the things that we have um, available here in our community. And that is all I have. If there is nothing else, I will accept a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Right. Has been moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? We are adjourned. <laughs>